Sprinter owners, if you're looking to improve the way your coach drives, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Last summer we did a video detailing some of the R&D work we've been performing on our 2021 Winnebago Navion on the Sprinter 3500 chassis. And at the end of that video, we promised you guys an update. Hi, I'm Robert Henderson. And I'm Tommy Henderson. It's been about 20,000 miles and this is the update. Yeah, you guys have pointed out in comments on that video, where is that update? When is it gonna be available? So we're here to uh, first recap what we did and uh, we're also going to explain what we have learned since then to give you guys a complete picture of a handling package that will really transform the way your Sprinter drives. That's for sure. First, let's recap what was it that we were trying to fix on our Sprinter chassis. The low speed sway and also the stability control was going off all the time, which actually makes the brakes come on and not any fun when you're on a long trip to have the brakes coming on and making the coach swerve on you. Right, the, uh, the low speed sway is one of the things that uh, you notice first and here's a video you'll see of me actually demonstrating what that looks like. It was so bad on this thing that if I rocked it at just the right rate, the whole thing would pitch back and forth. Um, it's like a boat rocking in the, in the water. And uh, you can see before and after, we really were able to cut that down dramatically. So we're real pleased with that. Uh, similarly with the stability control, right? You didn't notice as much of that? Big improvement there. In fact, this last trip from Oregon to Florida, I never had that thing go off one time on me. It's an amazing improvement. Yeah, that's, that's a huge change from how it was before. So now that we've covered what the issue is, let's go into what are the key pieces of fixing that problem. First off, we learned that the rear shocks are really critical on this chassis. So they're located pretty far inboard and those shocks have to do a lot to control that rocking and rolling while also you don't want them too stiff to really compromise your ride quality. Yeah, we're always trying to find the balance between ride and handling. And that's the tricky part. And with the research and development that we've done, Tommy, it's a major improvement. I think we've really done the best to give you the best ride and handling. Right, we tested eight different models of shock absorbers in addition to the factory shocks and we found that uh, there really was a gap in availability for something that uh, not only gave you the control and stability that you need but also still maintains decent ride quality. There are other shocks out there that will give a lot of control but you pay for it in the ride, right? Absolutely. Some extra stability was really nice, but you paid for it, boom, 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 over the bumps. And we knew we could do better than that. Right, so we are really excited to announce that we have partnered with Kony. We uh, have a custom Supersteer branded shock made for us to our specifications by Kony. One of their engineers came out and did some testing on our own Sprinter. And uh, we believe we've got something that uh, is really the best offering out there for the Sprinter Class C motorhome chassis and uh, we'll actually include a link in the description to a video uh, detailing specifically the development of those shocks as well as their availability. Uh, next after the shocks uh, would be the sway bar, I would say, it's a big improvement, right? Did a lot of testing on that and with the heat treating, I believe we've got an excellent quality sway bar. Now it'll even fit older applications as well. Right, yep, we're working on a, a change to the sway bar to go back uh, much earlier than uh, 2019 to upgrade to an inch and a half diameter rear sway bar that is heat treated. And that tailor with the right shocks, very critical. Yeah, yep, so that, that right there is a great upgrade uh, for the rear suspension. Uh, then uh, to take it a, a step further, uh, the rear track bar also helps out with uh, those passing trucks, the, the gusts and winds. Uh, we measured the side-to-side -side shift in the rear axle on the coach, and we we're actually we we're surprised at how much we were able to see. Absolutely. You can feel that out in the road with the side gusts and the trucks passing. Right, so that rear track bar definitely cuts down on the push you get from those trucks and side winds. Yep. Keeps uh, you tracking straighter. Right. Another surprise for us was really the front struts, just how critical they are for really completing the overall stability and responsiveness. Yes, and you tested several different struts to arrive at that decision as well. And we were, I mean, it was very, very surprising to me how much additional low speed sway we were able to eliminate with the right strut on the front as well. Right, we found that the Coney adjustable shocks uh, tightened up close to their max value 
really gave great responsiveness without uh, compromising the ride quality too much. And a uh, nice thing about the adjustable ones is you can tailor them to what you want uh, for your balance of ride quality and handling. But right. we're actually running them to the max, and I'd say you're, you're real happy with that, right? Yeah, I like something that handles good at high speed. I like my coach to drive just like driving a big car. For somebody that drives a little slower maybe and wants a little softer ride, you can adjust it back so it's a little bit softer. So that's one of the beautiful things about these. You can kind of tailor it to your coach, your load, and your driving characteristics. So we've done extensive testing on our own Sprinter so that you don't have to. We encourage you to give us a call. Let us know what it is that uh, you're experiencing on your own coach. Absolutely. We want to help you tailor the products and the needs to your driving characteristics and your specific vehicle because no two coaches drive exactly the same. Right. Yep, that's right. And uh, for those of you looking for some more information, we'll also include a link below to a blog post that we'll be doing with some more information on all of these upgrades uh, as well as links to the videos that I referenced. Thank you for watching this video. We really hope you got value from it. If so, we encourage you to like and subscribe and please also hit that bell so that you never miss an upcoming video from us. And as always, we wish you safer and happier driving. <laughs>